Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. With subreports, you can view the data from one main report with related data from a separate but related report as an embedded subreport within the original. This allows you to view related information from two reports at once. It can also make the relationship between data in two related reports seem more clear. Subreports are often used to show summary data from one main report with detailed data from a related subreport. When you create subreports, you may want to begin by creating two separate reports first. Now this isn't a requirement, it can just make it a little easier. You can create a subreport within a report for almost any database object that you have already created, including tables, forms, and queries. To create a subreport, first open the main report into which you wish to insert the subreport subform control. Ensure that you're viewing that report in design view and ensure that you have the related subreport that you want to insert and display within the main report already created. Also make sure that the Use Control Wizards button is activated within the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Note that in Access 2013 through 2010, this button appears in a separate section when you click the More drop-down button in the lower right corner of the button group. Now next, click the Subform Subreport button that appears in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab within the ribbon. Then click and drag over the area within the main report where you wish to insert a subreport. Access will then automatically launch the subreport wizard to assist you in placing and connecting your two reports. In the first screen of the subreport wizard, you can select which object in your database contains the data that you want to use in the subreport. You can select to either use existing tables and queries or use an existing report or form by simply choosing the desired option button. Now, if you select the latter option, then you must select which report or form you wish to insert from the listing shown. Then click the Next button when you're ready to continue. Now if you selected the Use Existing Tables and Queries option, then the next screen will present you with a drop-down list of the tables and queries in the database from which you can select. For whichever table or query you select, you can then choose which fields to display within the report by clicking on their names in the Available Fields list and then clicking the right pointing arrow button to move them into the selected fields list and then click next to continue. Now in the next screen you must select how the data in the main report is linked to the data in the subreport. If you select the choose from a list option button then you must select one of the listed possible ways from the list box shown below the option button. When you select one of the ways that you could link the data in the reports together from the list, you will see text describing the relationship below the list. This is helpful in viewing the relationship when the description of the relationship selected in the list extends beyond the edge of the list box. Once you've selected the desired relationship, click the Next button to continue. Note that the other option that you have is the option to Define My Own, which changes the section below it to show two columns of drop-down menus, Form Report Fields and Subform Report Fields.
You can then use the drop-downs to select which field in the main report is correlated to which other field in the sub-report. You may connect multiple fields if necessary. The text description of the link that you are manually creating will appear below the drop-down menus. When you've created the necessary links between the reports, click the Next button to continue. In the last screen, you can type a label for your sub-report if needed. Then just click the Finish button to complete the insertion of the sub-report into the main report. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.